Last week I visited an exhibition called Greta Magnuson Grossman, A Car and Some Shorts. This great retrospective, which opened recently at our 20th century design, explored the legacy of Swedish-American architect Greta Magnusson Grossman. Her career in America barely spanned two decades, and she was one of the only female industrial designers in the mid-century period. Despite these challenges, Grossman was celebrated for her prolific output of unique homes, interiors, furnishings, and light fixtures. Our 20th Century Gallery has featured Grossman's objects for over a decade and was one of the first institutions to recognize the significance of her work. Grossman was born in Sweden and opened a studio there in 1933, designing furniture and interiors. She immigrated to Los Angeles in 1940, opened a shop and built a modernist home, both in Beverly Hills. The Scandinavian sensibility that she brought to the West Coast proved the recipe for instant success, particularly as Americans in the post-war years were captured by the aesthetics of Scandinavian furniture. To her, modernism was much more than a style. It was a philosophy that proposed a contemporary way of life. Her work was frequently published in Arts and Architecture magazine, and with this exposure, she attracted Hollywood stars like Greta Garbo, Joan Fontaine, and Gracie Allen. In addition to Grossman's line of home furnishing, she produced work for other companies such as Barker Brothers Madden Shop, Glen of California, and Ralph O. Smith. Her output flowed from simple to sophisticated, between muted to colorful textiles, using unorthodox combinations of materials such as wrought iron with plastic laminate. Greta Magnuson Grossman made elegant objects that were comfortable to use, pleasing aesthetically, and always evoked a Scandinavian mystic. She is particularly remembered for a line of lamps she designed for Barker Brothers, which were included in the seminal 1951 Good Design Exhibition at the Museum of Modern Art. They were shown together with a chair she designed for Glen of California. The marriage of Scandinavian and West Coast modernism came to define Grossman's signature aesthetic. She was among the leading European emigrants who settled in California, visionaries who would be recognized for the creation of American modernism. In the golden age of Hollywood, Greta Magnuson Grossman was a star.